What's going on guys today? We're gonna to go over a very simple algebra question. Even though it's a really easy question, it teaches you something that is really important when it comes to the SAT math section. Knowing this tip alone will help you answer the hard, hard questions that you weren't able to solve before. So let's get straight into it. What's up guys, John from Admission Hackers. Quick announcement before we start. You're about to see one of the fastest ways to solve these SAT questions. And I've created a six week program that will train you to solve them the exact same way. Everything is in the video format, so it's easier to follow than your SAT prep books. And the program only covers what's proven to be tested on the SAT to not waste your time and raise your score quickly. Also, I'll be mentoring you personally until you get your target score, but more details in the description box down below. That's it, let's get to the video. So the question says, the function f and g are defined by f of x is equal to 4x and g of x is equal to that. So for what value of x does f of x minus g of x equal to 4? See, some people will look at this question and know what to do, but there will be a lot of people who are like, what the heck am I supposed to do here? I read the question, I have no idea what to do, okay? So on the SAT, if there's a question and you have no idea where to start, just start with whatever the question gives you. For instance, if you look at it, it says, for what value of x does f of x minus g of x equal to four, right? So you can just start with that. f of x, you see f of x here and it's four x. And g of x, g of x, and we know it's x squared. So just substitute them in and it might open new doors that you just couldn't see before. So let's just plug them in. f of x it will be four x minus g of x, which is just x squared, is equal to four, right? And we have seen the structure before, x squared, x and a flat out number. Like for instance, we have seen an equation like x squared minus three x plus two, something like that, right? So x squared, x and a number, x squared, x and a number. And they're usually on one side all by them together. So let's do that. And usually we have every single term grouped on the other side. So let's do that. Let's move these things around. We're gonna add x squared, which will become x squared minus four x plus four is equal to zero. And from here, what value of x makes the equation equal to zero? Well, we can find that by factoring. x minus two and x minus two is equal to zero. And we know that x equal to two will make the equation equal to zero, which means the answer will be choice D. And when you look at it in hindsight, it's actually a very simple question. All you have to do is plug these things in, rearrange it, factor, and find your answer. However, some students will look at this question, freak out, and just can't do anything about it, they're gonna skip it and they're gonna eventually get it wrong. When in reality, it's actually a very simple question. So the main takeaway from this question is that when you see a question and you have no idea where to start, just start with whatever the question tells you. And doing so will eventually open your eyes to next door and the next door and the next door and it will guide you to the right direction and eventually get you to the answer you need. So that's going to be it for today's video. If you guys found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and I'll see you on the next one. What's up guys, John from Admission Hackers. You just saw one of the fastest ways to solve these SAT questions. And I have created a six week program that will train you to solve them the exact same way. Everything is in the video format, so it's easier to follow than your SAT prep books. And the program covers only what is proven to be tested on the SAT to not waste your time and raise your score quickly. And I'll be mentoring you personally until you get your target score, but more details in the description box down below. That's it, I'll see you in the next one.